one is known as the whoosh bottle or the methanol cannon. However, you can do it with a variety of different alcohols, methanol, ethanol, propanol, isopropanol. It doesn't have to just be methanol, but we are going to use methanol today. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking a small amount of methanol and I'm going to put it into my bottle here. I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to shake it. And what this experiment shows us is the massive amount of chemical energy that is produced from a very small amount of an organic substance such as methanol. So it's important to give it a good shake because as I shake it I'm vaporizing the liquid so I'm turning it from a liquid into a vapor. So when I'm finished shaking it, I want to make sure that I've checked my bottle as well beforehand for any cracks or anything that could cause it uh, cause a weak point where the, the explosion that will happen would blow it out and this one's okay. So I take any excess methanol and I pour it back into this container. And if you listen closely, you'll hear some of the vapor as I take the lid off. pour any excess back in here and this is very important safety point you don't want any excess methanol left inside because there is a chance that it could burn if you do so so it's very very important not to put the lid back on and I give it another good shake Before I light it, I'm going to take my methanol, which is highly flammable, and move it out of the way. I'll get my splint ready in advance. And I have a white tile here, which can be used to control the reaction if I feel it's become too vigorous by excluding oxygen. Because we know oxygen is required for combustion. So sometimes it can be difficulty getting the lid off. So if you can have a second person to do that, it can be very useful. Yeah, Peter, you might do that for me. Thank you. Okay. As I mentioned earlier, I have my white tile, which I just put on top, and that excludes the oxygen if I feel the reaction is too vigorous and controls it. But as you can see, it demonstrates really, really dramatically the amount of chemical energy that is present in a very, very small amount of an organic substance such as methanol. And as we go along with the longer carbon chains and we go look at ethanol or propanol, isopropanol, we'll see that the reaction will be slower, it won't be as vigorous because they're less volatile as we as move further along the ethanol, the propanol, the isopropanol, so you'll see a slower reaction due to the lower level of volatility.